My Gavanan Melanine, and well met indeed! I'm Arike Galadrethan, and welcome back to Middle Earth as we continue on as canned the old bait and switch. If you were watching the live stream on Saturday, I said two things that have not come true. Number one, I would not be continuing with canned. And number two, that this week would be the reunited kingdom. Well, neither of those things is true because I had a little look over it, had a little look back over the Candish videos. And chiefly, had a little look at what would replace Canned if we didn't do it. And at the moment, it just is not actually all that important to replace Canned. Canned is far more popular than I actually um, first thought. I don't know where I got the, the, the thinking from that actually people weren't watching it. Because the stats don't lie and you are watching it. And I, as long as you're watching it, I'm happy to continue it. That is always my priority. Um, and also, there isn't really something in DAC at the moment that's really worthwhile replacing Canned with. Until ideally Dunland is done and we could maybe play as Dunland, but I don't think Dunland will be that popular. So it might be a Shattered Alliances with someone else. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, until there's someone else to replace them, there's no need for Canned to stand away. So here we are, carrying on as Canned. We've kicked off our war with Rune and our main army under Khan Arkish has yet to really be tested because Lest fell very easily. Rune are gathering around Lest to see what they can do. Our primary... Stop that. Reverse it. Our secondary army, Warlord Orash, the Conqueror, is taking Varfest and Rune's going to do what it can, but it won't be able to stop him. So we're going to breeze through along Rune's southern border and we're going to strike into their heartland there while Khan Arkish holds... More troops are being mustered at Zansisha, but our money now starts to dwindle as we have two full armies out in the field. We haven't actually had to worry up here on the north because Dale earns all of this. So we're really just banking on our attack on Rune, forcing the hand of our enemies. And now remember, unlike Warhammer 3, 2, 4, 5, 1, whatever you're playing, whenever you're playing it, unlike the later Total War games, in Medieval 2, whilst the AI does get some bonuses, it doesn't get the obscene bonuses that the, ga the um, armies get in the later game. So, Rune having to fight against Erebor, Dale and me, with a dwindling number of regions, will eventually bite them firmly on the behind. And they will lose over time. They can't fight all three of us. Now, the only real feather in their cap... Which isn't really a feather in the cap, because that's not helping them in this case, is it? The only thing that might keep them going longer than they have any right to be alive is their control of our old regions. So when we left Cand and ran all the way up here, Rune filled in the void. So we do have to be cautious. They will have more provinces than we anticipate. There is a fight in our future. And Rune is on the other side of that fight. Oh, look, the Austin Array armies have actually Order. moved through. As you will. Oh, I'd already pressed space. How may I serve? They're moving through to try and save Varfest. We will just siege Varfest out. I'm not going to attack that two turns early. Mordor has gone to war with the Ardenaim. <laughs> we love to see that. You could do with more free upkeep, please. So build me a Warlord's Hall. When you get the money. Oh, and Dorthalu got a Mason's Guild House. Well done. Right on the border you are. Roads would be a dream, but I don't think we have enough money to get roads. More trade would come through then with uh, your neighbours. What's your garrison? Wait, it's the garrison. Ugh. Oh, not very good. That's why they're on the retraining. Uh, but we don't really need anything bigger. And try and build a road. Try and build a road. We do make enough money that you should be able to, but... We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I do also, as I've said many times, plan on continuing Kislev. And next week, I hope there will be a video returning to that. Um, I don't know whether I'll record that today. Uh, it's Sunday at the moment. Um, or whether I'll record that at some point in the week. Obviously, the Battle of Middle Earth videos are all now pre-recorded. So they can just go up as and when. Uh, so it's just getting that. And I am going to carry on with Kislev. The difference with Kislev, me going back on my word, where I'm saying that as long as you're watching it, I'm happy to, to play it. The difference with Kislev is that I really enjoy it. And if I'm going to play it anyway, I might as well record it. And for good or ill, whether it goes poorly or otherwise, um, I doubt it'll go otherwise. It's almost certainly going to go poorly. Oh, two guys that look identical. Um, I'm going to record it anyway. So I am going to carry on with that. If you want to watch that, please do. If you don't, don't worry. Just don't. I'll bung it up. As long as it doesn't eat into deck time, it doesn't really affect the channel overall, does it? Khan Mukalku. Oh, you have an army. Look, Flagrim. I welcome that army on the field, sir. 
we have a great many lessons to teach. Do I have a spy, actually, that can go out there and just I see what's going on? No, he's there. What about Zizis? I can give me another spy. Thank you. Right, otherwise, we are just ending the turn again. I don't want to attack Lord anyone with Karnakish, really, if I can help it. Um, I only want... Uh, if I people want to attack me, then by all means, but uh, I don't really want to attack anyone. Order. I also think that standing on that bridge and forcing Order. the enemy to come to us is better. Whoa. Why do you... What's just happened there? What went red? Oh, it's not training someone, that's all. I thought the um, all public order just shot through the floor, but no, 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 no. I'm just the men. Ah, there's Mordor's Eastern Territory. Darsgurum. I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's probably black speech. It's been researched and been applied, and uh, it'll mean something. But I have no idea. But it sounds good, though, doesn't it? Dars Gurum. I'm particularly pleased today because today is a Sunday and Jessica and I are again playing Guild Wars 2, The End of Dragons. And I've now played as three of the new elite specializations and the first two that I played as, or four, sorry, and the first three that I played as, I found incredibly dull. But now we've arrived on the fourth one and I absolutely love it. Uh, so I'm thoroughly enjoying playing that with uh, Jessica today. And that is our only plan before I go back to another insanely busy week at work. Such is the rest of my life. Oh, <laughs> how interesting that the path blocked message should also be blocked. Yes, my master. Why did I want to come and talk is to something I can do for Mordor? What would you I want to make that? Quite useless. Oh, Rooney, Rooney, Rune, Rune. You're not going to do Come anything, here, are you? Joining the ranks. Orders. More cavalry. This is forming up into what I'm going to... This is going to be the middle lane. So the southern lane under Orash is going to take Enmahath. And the middle lane is going to push out and take Ijara back. And uh, whilst Karnakish tries... Ah, oh, no, sorry. Let's kill Khan Mukalku. Oh, I did it in the trees. A coward's tactic indeed. Well. Well. We have foiled that. So, these buggers are going to be a right pain in the neck because they are, of course, excellent anti-cavalry, all three of them. But in terms of cavalry, we have them right over a barrel. They've only got three units of cavalry, which means our cavalry can dominate the battlefield. So, strap in. This is either going to be an excellent um, character study, not character study, an excellent um, presentation on how to use cavalry or... And perhaps considerably more likely, this is going to be an excellent example of how not to control cavalry. It can only be one of the two. We're a little all or nothing here. If, you've, if you're just joining us, welcome to the channel of maybe that will work. Oh, it didn't. Oh, well. Life wheels on. Look how much cavalry we have. That's just obscene. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, let's start with the people on the floor first. Heavy infantry. Heavy infantry, you are going to just walk forwards. Archers behind. Now, I'm going to definitely, definitely remember to tell you to fire at will when you get within range. I'm absolutely not going to forget about that. Cavalry. Um, I group them up together because it makes my life a bit easier, but it's probably actually better to split them, isn't it? Let's take three of them and go right. And then team two, uh, team three, sorry, you're going left. Why is team three on the left-hand side of team two? That doesn't make any sense. Now, the reinforcements that they do have coming in, again, our cavalry will make short work of, so. The enemy show their cowardice. They bring in reinforcements. Now, what they will have is more ground archers than we have. Ah, their own Baron Riders are coming in. <laughs> Alright, cavalry sprint. Sprint, 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 sprint. Yep, 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 yep. Team three. Sprint over that side. And team six with you and hidden in the trees at the moment. Just come forward. Right, hold positions. Archers, you know, may fire at will. Cavalry on this side. Baron Hunters. Yep. Stop them from doing what they're doing. Ah, no, you go after them because you're 
there's more of you. And you, take on the Baron Riders. All right, the Raiders on that side, absolutely obliterated. Excellent work from our cavalry contingent there. And you guys, let's get you to go around the back. Keep it going, keep it going. We need to desperately, whatever happens today, everyone, do not go to time six. Too much is at stake. How did you do against those riders? Um, hunters, sorry. Hunters, hunters, hunters. The ones on the floor. Oh, those dragon riders have been killed by our nomad cavalry. That's always what we like to see. Get up there and kill them. All right, they're on runaway mode, so they should run away if something goes wrong. Are they going to go for that one? Are they going to go for that one? Because at the minute they're just sort of wandering around in the middle of nowhere doing nothing. Choose a side, Rune. Choose a side. How we did, Lynn. 10 plays 20. Take that. Take that all day. Right, come down and help these. Hit them in the back. You come in and hit those in the back. You didn't really get a charge off there, did you? Oh, that was a much better charge. Delightfully cutting through the runic trash. They're all trash. It's all trash. It always has been. Oh, Locrian Bodyguard stepping up. Did you kill any in there? No, and do not get bogged down with them. We'll die. This is the problem. The generals are going to fight on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Right, we've got a cavalry unit not doing anything. Yep, come in over here. You guys cycle out again. You get out of there. You get out of there. Ground forces, if you are free, charge into things. Oh, look, that general's going down. That's nice to see. As the line pulls back, let's have a look at the wind riders. Give me a good one. Yeah, fairly all right. Fairly all right. Let's use both of those on that one to get them to run away. Oh no, you could come in and hit them again, actually. You've got plenty of room, you'll get up to speed, that should work in our favour. Only half the enemy force remains. We must oh bugger, they turned around! To fight. They turned around! No! <laughs> oh actually, that's gone really well. Well done. I really like the Variag Lancer, and it's so easy to spot because the horse... It's the first unit that you get where the horse has barding. Or is it... Oh, I can't remember. I was going to say Bardish, but that's the type of weapon, isn't it? Isn't there a very specific name? Isn't horse barding just a sort of cloth that's draped over the horse? And then that sort of armor there, I'm sure that has a more specific name. But I can't, for the life of me, remember what it is. But I'm sure I've read it somewhere. Obviously, Dol Amroth have it a lot. It's very prevalent in Dol Amroth. Aerial Dragon Riders. Dismounted version Dragon Guards. And then look at them, even when you, when you get up close, look at their cool visuals. Very nice looking unit. The only downside being that the UI card is outdated and shows them on a black horse, but they aren't anymore. That's something worth noting. Right, that bodyguard's pretty much dead and under the ground. Don't worry about charging into him then. You guys have succeeded there. Come back and hit those crossbowmen. Have you guys run out of arrows? It's time to swarm the enemy. Um, focus on those. They're dead. So it is now just the generals, I think. 63%. There's still a lot of troops out there somewhere. Just don't know where they all are. Bit of a grouping there, but we're charging into them. I should give them food for thought. We should get them scampering in their little booties. Men of Ron, I give you this chance. Let down your arms. Our blood is not that separate. Our people are not that different. We share lineage. We share history. And if you will permit it, we share a future. A future free of Sauron's oppression. Stand with me. Do not throw away your lives so rashly. It has gone wonderfully, if I do say so myself. Arig has gone, whoever which whichever one he was. 
Just flood him, just flood him, flood him, flood him. We need the real general to die, though. I think we could probably time six it now. Oh, of course! I completely forgot about them. That's why we have 60% of the enemy left standing. That 40%, sorry. No, actually, only 25. It's because of these guys. Let's get over there and get them killed off, please. Cavalry. Come and take positions for me. There's a task now that must be done. And only Khan's finest can achieve victory in this dire situation. You're going to go for the Baron Hunters. You're going to go for the Darrett High Crossbows. And you're going to go for that Darrett High Crossbow. Let's, let's watch the action unfold. That was a nice cut into those. That was a very nice cut into those. We have cut off the serpent's head. <laughs> enemy general is slain. Let's see. Enemy are badly bloodied. The crossbowmen. Half their men. <laughs> the crossbowmen. It's so nice to see. Right, whoever's still fighting the actual general, just keep on him. You'll do all right. Oh, there he is. One of them, at least. The other one's up here. Yeah, so they're dead. Oh, there we go. One's they gone. run like children. Scour them from the field. It is over. We just simply need the head of the last man who stands resolute. Karnakish, let's end this poetically. Oh, no, we've got loads of arrows. Let's see if we can't just finish him off with arrow fire. I'm not adverse the to just bringing him down. There he goes. Must curse the day they were Five, born. seven, eight, though. That is a Let lot. All the poets write of this most wondrous triumph. 319 Variag Lancers. 269 Variag Lancers. And 239 Variag Lancers. Windriders of Can coming in at 237, which is pretty good. Archer's not doing as well. That was more melee cav. Ah, speak of the glory of Dol Amroth. And there it stands before you. My only downside to that image is the prevalence of the... Two people in the foreground, both looking like they're looking up. Something apparently is in the sky. I don't know if that's intentional or if they're meant to be looking. But the guy on the right with his helmet under his arm, this fellow over here, is looking up. And this fellow is also looking up. And this guy's sort of uh, maybe looking up. He's got a very unfortunate hairline. But the guy on the left isn't. So I wonder if there's meant to be a Nazgul above them at that point. Right, what I'm very tempted to do is capitalise on this success and take Mistrand while we have the chance. Yes, Merge together what you can. Um, take Call a cavalry unit out of there. I don't really mind if Lest falls. We'll take it back. We've got troops coming. Oh, and look, they're coming for you on the bridge there. Is it better to... S no, you're just going to die on the bridge. There's nowhere near enough troops. Pull back into the city. Why is your recruitment so... Oh, because we don't have any money. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I'm looking at this thinking, this is a brilliant recruitment centre. Why are you not recruiting faster? But it's it's because we have no money. Makes a lot more sense. Do we have any other forces coming? Xander Noose, what are you training? Oh, three ground troops. Oh, you can get Warlord's Cataphracts. Yes. Send them over this way. Right, you guys Orders. just wait for Austin and I to move out and you can link up with them. Varfest is about to fall. The absolute bloody destruction of Rune. We need Rune to be killed as quickly as possible as because the point of this now is to fight against Dale and Erebor and to see troops we haven't fought against. Rune is in an interesting position as a nation because Rune's early game isn't really very good and Kand counters it massively. Now, obviously... It's all subjective. It's all relative, sorry. Rune's early game is much better than a lot of factions. But still, as early games go, they haven't really got anything good against cavalry. And because Kand is so cavalry orientated, we can deal with that. Whereas Erebor, by comparison, dwarves are much, much tankier. And they are really, really good at countering cavalry. So uh, when we fight against Erebor, we'll actually have to use no tactics. Fear. We might even have to get ground troops involved. Our we greatest fear. Victory! Yeah, so I'm interested, quite, 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 quite interested in Erebor. Dale, mm, Dale, I think, will be a bit of a cakewalk because Dale is a really archer-heavy faction. And again, cavalry just absolutely chews through archer, cav uh, archer nations. No trouble at all. But we're going to struggle with Erebor. That's where the fight will be. I'll tell you what, Rune, I'll do you a trade. You take yes, Lest, and I'll just nip over and take your capital. We How does that sound? 
They will absolutely rise up, so we'll get that, you know, by killing them out on the field. Without any difficulty, I assure you of that. More troops coming through there. Joining the ranks! Why they're besieging Austin right? You're not taking that Gurnan, or whatever your name is, Gunan. That's not going to fall to your forces. I, in absolutely no way. Anything here we can't use. Oh, we've already got a dark shrine. Oh, yes, because we're the same culture as Rune. Oh, this is a blessing. A blessing. A blessing from the Lord. And we have the same guild. We have the same guild. Yes. Oh, yes, that's just uh, why we're going to talk about it. I don't know. Cause, and if you're watching at this point, you already well know. But certain buildings might have different names. Like this is called the Dragon's Wrath Guild, which is the runic name. But if you just have a look in your buildings tier, if it's coloured in and the name is bolded and, and rather than greyed out, that means that that is the same building. So there's no benefit destroying the Dragon's Wrath Guild just to build a Nomad's Guild in its place because it is the same building. The game just lets you have different names based on different nations, and that's something that we use to great avail. So with a lot of nations, you will have crossovers. But the archery range here is a perfect example. We don't actually get an archery range. All of our units come from just one single barracks line. Uh, so the archery range for us has absolutely no benefit whatsoever. So destroying that is a is a must in essence. We could keep the waste station for the law bonus, but because we're the same culture, I just think having getting the money out of that is better. Otherwise, everything here is the, is useful to us. Oh, the stables, yeah, of course. And they obviously they built a much higher blacksmith. I wonder if that's a higher blacksmith than we even get. No, it is our third tier. Yeah. Um, which is why everyone's retraining, because they can all be retrained at the blacksmith. But I don't I want to sir. retrain, and ideally I don't want to leave anything more than one unit. Are you going to hate me? No, of course you're not going to hate me, because of the cultural bonus. Let's get a nomadic gathering ground, and then he'll become free, because we have the insane culture. Yes, noble master. I don't know if that's yeah. an oversight from the Send base game. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, people don't really care if they've been conquered, provided you are chanting um, the same chants as them and singing the same hymns in whatever building you denote as your holy place. As long as you're on the same page with that, the people in Med 2 are more than happy to take on new owners. And I always find that quite interesting. Right, Zansisha, I think we'll have to defend. Lest uh, we'll defend it, and we Maybe might be all right. Depends what you. Captain Jigganorth... Jigganorth. <laughs> That's like Jiggera. Um, Jigga, Jigga, Jigga lag. Jigga lag. Otherwise, let's end the turn and see what the response is from Rune with our... They've besieged us, but we've done far, far worse to them. Their armies lie across the plains of Rune, bodies scattered high in pile upon pile of burnt ash. Blood cakes the ground on the roads from Lest to Mistrand, and Rune trudges through the rivers of his own people's blood. What... A poor morale situation they must be in. Jigger North comes with some good strength, but we do have walled, so the cavalry's not all that useful. But that Dragon's Wrath Guildsman's probably going to do it on their own. I just saved it, didn't I? Yeah. But we will fight it, because we get the towers. Every, much like the Reunited Kingdom campaign now, anyone that can stall anyone or anything, every dead man of Rune is one less man that needs to die later on. So everyone fights now. We can seduce fortune back to our side. Oh, we have a lot of archers. Can you really not go on that bit of the wall? Oh, well, that bit then it is. You guys are as close as you can get. Easy of you. Now, you do want to try and stretch them out as much as possible. Only, it's, the walls are such a broken feature of Med 2, and it annoys me. Only the front line fires properly, and the second line then considers itself to be blocked and doesn't shoot properly. It's so, so frustrating. Obviously, I'm preaching to the to the choir with that because if you are watching this, there is almost you almost certainly have played a lot of medieval two. The ram's not going to take any damage, but that's a lot of baron raiders dying, and ground forces that we can kill is fantastic. Don't waste yourself on the ram troops once they're actually at the gate, though. Let's try and do what the AI does. Keep the enemy pinned. Although, no, that uh, wouldn't have worked at all, would it? 
curse the sun that shines on our disgrace. Now that I think about it. Right, you guys come off the wall there. News comes unlooked for. The enemy have taken our walls. We basically just gave them the gate. Well, that's a, I mean, I did. I personally do think we probably were always going to lose this. But that might have been a poor decision. I'm trying to get them down. And if we can get them down. And if we can get them down. Uh, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. No! Oh, well, fine. Someone needs to fight back. See, the cavalry's mostly died. It's just the, the Dragon's Wrath Guildsmen are going to smash us. This unit is so, so good. 14 attack, 23 defense, 8 charge. Compare that to our lowly Steph Archers. 3 melee attack and 5 defense. <laughs> 5 of these Dragon's Wrath Guildsmen could probably kill the entire Steph Archer company. We've still got the towers fighting for us. We have lost half of our men. Ah, the raid is there. We could have got a few more arrows off while they were breaking down the General gate. Lies dead. But Pray otherwise, I don't. With thirst for Fifty percent's not bad. Not despair. We have to remember that the AI's tactic of opening the gate only works for the AI and doesn't really work very well for the humans. <laughs> All right, they've claimed that wall there. As our troops die. The enemy are badly bloodied. Curse the sun that shines on our disgrace. It's over, but I don't know why it's not over yet. Or we will taste ashes instead of victory. Ah, oh, because of you. Meet them head on, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> blood and shame from this battle. <laughs> you have it back, Rune. You have it back. The storm that is uh, currently brewing on your borders in the south is going to swipe the legs from underneath you and there's nothing that you can do about it and mordor having attacked the arden it means that hopefully they won't have a taste for it because no to be honest if mordor attacks me i will probably ask you all first of all but my initial thought is to then destroy mordor by use of cheats so that we just do not have to fight mordor again um otherwise it'd be like four campaigns on the plod where we fought mordor Ah, this one we can win. And then that'll round out the episode for today, I think. Let's call it Battle 02. I like to have two different saves when we're attacked in the same turn. All right, we get garrison units. We've got temple... Um, what are they called? Temple wardens and temple guard, maybe? I can't remember. But we've got more than enough to deal with them. What are your names? Temple Marksmen and Temple Wards. Right, they've got a much bigger force here today, though. But now we've got this. We have got this in the bag. Do we pull back to the high ground and just hold? Are those towers really worth the fight? What we definitely do is get our cavalry out. And the side gate over there is going to have to do then. General, you go with them. And we've got cavalry archers there. Where are you? You're the ones in the middle. You're just going to have to stay in the middle and go from there. That's okay. Right, so we get the cavalry out. Then we'll have the um, three garrison units will defend the gate. Javelins at the gate so you can help. You can throw your javelins when they come through the gate. I'm really tempted to put the temple wards on the wall and let them come up the ladders and just laugh as they die. And then I think it's probably going to be better to have the few archers we do have to stand back here. Yeah, because we've only got two. Yeah, we'll have them to stand back here and fire when they come through that gap. So instead, if we try and create like a death alley and put our garrison units here, I think that'll be better. And then the temple guys will hold the wall. Yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. That's going to be the play. Cavalry, let's get you outside. Right. That's the best I'm going to get out of you, so that'll have to do. Javelin forces, I will pull you back so that you can throw your javelins from there. And then we just want to make sure that... Oh, wow, your range is obscenely good. You guys go there, and you guys go there. Don't run away. Hold firm on the walls, boys. You've got this.
The enemy have leathers at the walls. Repel the invaders. Send them back whence they came. Baron Riders. Baron. Why are they not called Baron Riders? <laughs> Rename them. This instant. Right. Shut them down for me if you would. Wind Riders. Let's go a bit further around. And then Cavalry Archers. Look at those Arrowlad Dragon Riders over there sitting there all pompous like. Ill news. Our thrice cursed foes are attacking our gates with rams. Here they come on the walls. Kill them as soon as they step off those ladders. Cursed Seeds Tower has reached our walls. Hold back the invaders. Temple Ward's doing very well at the moment. As the enemy starts to stand on top of them, apparently, then it's not looking too good. <laughs> right, the dragon... Uh, the lancers have tied them up. Wind Riders get in there and help. That should just see those Baron Raiders wiped from the face of the earth. They are awful in melee, particularly when surrounded. Dragon Guard are thinking twice. Temple Wards are starting to use it. This, why is the AI able to do this and I'm not able to do this? Defending walls is always such a hit and miss task. Sometimes it goes fantastically and other times you just get shredded. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to the way that it goes. So we've lost 40 Temple Wards, give or take. Now the Dragon Guard have lost over 100 odd. But then they've claimed this central section of the wall. So you're, you, you're just guaranteed to lose troops. That's the rem. problem. Come and hit those Baron Riders in the side. Is that the General at the back there? Oh, yes. General, there is a task now that must be done. A very fitting task for our own General to take the head of our enemies. Fire a few arrows as you go past. Can't hurt, can it? Give them a little spattering and a little sprinkling as we then step it up. The enemy's ram has breached our gates. Bows away. Go on, that has to have killed him. The battle appears to be running in our favour. From good tidings such as these, no. the victory spring forth. No, it didn't get him. Ill news comes unlooked for. The enemy have taken our walls. Oh, very cool, such as what were you doing? Like right, both of you just target this balcony, stop them going into the city. Ah, the wind riders got caught. Ah, right, they're coming up the middle now. Javelins, you know what to do. And the archers are creating a gap as we expected, but we are going to lose all of our temple wards. Holding the walls like champions, but the enemy is now circling around behind. And it looks like they're going to go all the way around just to stop us. Idiots. How do we get on with those Balkor spears? Only half the enemy force remains. Good charge, good charge. I pray they lose their will to fight. Just flood them, just flood them, flood them, flood them, flood them. We have cut off the surface. Yes, there we go. And then they're out. The general is slain. Let's see how these snakes fight without their head. All right, you guys stand outside, ready for those that start running away, because they will start running away, best believe. Did those guys go all the way around in the end? No. Oh, Nomad Axeman, I forgot you even existed. <laughs> well, come and get involved. They run like children. Do not Scour let them, them escape. From the field. Good jobs. Good jobs all round. Zansisha is ours still. 212,399. 262 will live in Temple Wards. Well done, Ben. Our foes in sand. The Temple Wards proving that they are phenomenal melee combatants. But alas, the walls taking more of them than we really would like. Many more of them than we would like. But if we can get a few more of those out and we get great beasts when uh, our old capital city finally builds its building, which is a turn or so away, I think. 
it's all looking up. Your faith and courage have right, failed. so the Zanzisha garrison, bolstered by the troops coming down from Dorwinian there, is going to move through and take Lest back. And then Khan Arkish has a task ahead of him. Taking the capital of Rune and however many troops they pull back to try and stop us. Now, they will have a lot of forces north of the sea fighting against Erebor and Dale. And they will focus on us. We are the human player. We are currently attacking their heartland. They will come back, as this guy here is proving. So we will have to face them. But for now... Ah, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. A little reprieve. Go for an another one. That can't hurt, can it? Orders. Right, you get back down to Zansisha, if you would. Oh, in two turns, you're going to have a load more troops. One turn, and then they'll retrain, and then two, and then... If we waited three... Hmm. Yes. Can we get anything out over to Karnakish? Have we got any good cavalry? Ah, oh, no. I'll oh, bet you're about to. Hmm. It's not going to get there in time, though, is it? No. Right, but for this episode, whichever number it is, that's going to be your lot. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope you are pleased that Canned will continue. And Canned just will continue. So until we have something suitable to replace it with, or until such a time as it really does have no one watching it. I, I really, I just, I had, a, in my mind, I just had that it was just not achieving the views that we, that we would normally like to see. So I, I don't know. But anyway, we will continue it. So you've got canned this week. You'll have a Battle of Middle-Earth episode. And if Kislev is your thing, I will do another Kislev episode this week. So that will continue as well. Um, otherwise, that's your lot for now. Do have a nice week. Do have a nice day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, Navayar Neden Permad Melunin. And farewell. <laughs>